All right, y'all, we are back with another video. Now, this one right here is uh, one that uh, I think this happened about three or four weeks ago about uh, Donald Trump embarrasses the CNN moderator in presidential town hall. Now, this video was sent to me. A lot of y'all wanted me to do this one. I couldn't really just find a video. I think they had like the full video out. But uh, somebody was telling me that the Officer Tatum, which is another great YouTuber that I love watching, uh, had it on his channel. So we're going to re uh, react to it from the Officer Tatum's uh, channel. And that's what it's called. Donald Trump embarrassed CNN moderator in presidential town hall. Now, like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody that's been hitting that like button. Uh, subscribe, and I really, really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's uh, get straight into this video and uh, let's see what happened. Have I think is why you held on to those documents when you knew the federal government was seeking them and then had given you a subpoena to return them. Are you them. ready? Are you ready? Can I talk? Yeah. What's you the mind? answer? Can do you mind? I would like for you to answer the question. Okay, it's very simple to answer. That's why I asked it. It's very simple to, you're a nasty person. I'll yeah. Tell you. Oh. When, they, that. when they went to the Capitol and they were breaking into the Capitol, smashing windows, injuring police officers, why did you, why did it take you three hours to tell them to go home? I don't believe it did. Oh, let me pull it out. I have to pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Trump pulled out receipts. <laughs> Yeah. This, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump. <laughs> Let me tell you what my concerns were initially. My concerns were that Donald Trump was going to go on to CNN mm -hmm. and they were going to set him up for the twist. They're going to put the man out there, make him look bad, embarrass all the Trump supporters, and that was their goal. And sometimes when you when you are on a particular show or doing a town hall, that is their mission is to embarrass you and make you look bad. And I think the the uh, lack of personal, I'll say intelligence, I want to say personal intelligence, but observing the fact that y'all are actually wrong in this leads them to do stupid stuff like bring this man on a stage and let him just dog y'all, which I think is good for us. But they were, with the false bravado that they have, mm -hmm. they thought they were going to bring Trump up here and make him look bad. He ended up trashing them in the most epic way that I have seen Trump do against CNN. Finally had his time. Let's watch the clip. I, I don't need to say to see more. This. I got to see race. this. If you are the Republican nominee and you are in that 2024 race, will you commit tonight to accepting the results of the 2024 election? Yeah, if I think it's an honest election, absolutely, I would. Will you commit to accepting <laughs> the results of the election regardless of the outcome? You want me to answer it again? If I think it's an honest election, I would be honored to. And right now we are so far ahead of both Democrat and Republican and you know what? If I don't win, this country is going to be in big trouble. It's so sad to see what's happening. But no commitment there on the accepting the results regardless of the it's, outcome. If it's an honest election, correct. But, I okay, so not committing to accepting the 2024 election results. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, you asked to be asked and answered the question. Every president should be saying what Trump is saying. If it's honest, you're just going to accept somebody... Doing something they ain't supposed to do, you just accept it. Just, just stop doing that. Come on, Trump, get a. Or acknowledging what happened in 2020. Go President ahead. Trump, I want to thank you for. Back to what happened on that day. He you said did you not weren't. Say that. You, he has testified that, Mr. He did President. not say that. But you said you weren't very involved that day. You did tell your supporters to come to Washington. You tweeted about it, about sure, that speech that happened on the rally. Am I so allowed when to they, say that? When they went to the Capitol, and they were breaking into the Capitol, smashing windows, injuring police officers. Why did you? Why did it take you three hours to tell them to go home? I don't believe it did. Ooh. Oh, let, let me pull it out. I have to pull it out. <laughs> oh, man. This is crazy, bro. So. Trump be pulling out the facts on them, boy. Sometimes you got oh, to. I love it. So if you look at on January 5th, the day before, I said, please support our Capitol Police and law enforcement. They are truly on the side of our country. Stay peaceful. Stay peaceful. This was the day before, and this was in the form of Twitter. Now use truth. 
Truth Social. I think it's far superior. Okay. I hope everybody's. <laughs> on. I hope everybody's on truth. Uh, if you look January 6th, just at two before two thirty. I am asking for everyone at the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful. This is right after as it was happening. But what happened is they took it down. I don't know why. I think they took it down because it was so good. They didn't like it being up there. <laughs> I am asking. This is and we didn't know until I got it back, because now I have 90 million people waiting for me to go back. But I'm on truth and I'm staying on truth. Listen, <laughs> I am asking for everyone at the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful. No violation. Mm-hmm. It's, we want no violation. We want no violence. Remember, we are the party of law and order. Respect the law and our great men and women in blue. Thank you. That was at 2.30. That was very early. Mr. President, I looked at the same timeline that you did. Once no, I know, it was but you clear, didn't report that. You know why? Because it was We did report down. it. I, I, Wayne Byer is a retired attorney from North Conway. He has previously served. And- served her. Pulled out the facts on her. I read the same timeline. No, you didn't. He just told you. What, what, what are y'all even talking about at this point? He just showed you in writing yep. that he said peaceful and respect law enforcement. Facts. That's why he ain't going <laughs> to jail over it. Because you can't prove that he did that. Okay. Republican administrations. He volunteered for the Republican Party in the 2022 midterms. He voted for you in 2020. What's your question for the president, Wayne? Thank you for coming, Mr. President. Thank you, Wayne. My, my, pres- my question to you is, Will you pardon the January 6 rioters who were convicted of federal offenses? I am inclined to pardon many of them. I can't say for every single one because a couple of them probably they got out of control. But, you know, when you look at Antifa, what they've done to Portland, and if uh, mm-hmm. you look at Antifa, look at what they've done to Minneapolis and uh, so many other, so many other places. Look at what they did to Seattle and BLM, BLM. Many people were killed. These people, I'm not trying to justify anything, but you have two standards of justice in this country and what they've done. And I I love that question because what they've done to so many people Mm -hmm. is nothing, nothing. And then what they've done to these people, they've persecuted these people. And yeah, my my answer is I am most likely if I get in, I will most likely I would say it will be a large portion of them. You know, they did a very... And it'll be very early on. Dude, you call Donald Trump just destroying CNN. I, I don't know. Look, y'all, where do they do CNN? Where do they get these moderators from? This moderate, this woman right here, remind me of the same woman that uh, moderated for uh, Andrew Tate. I think like a week ago. Like I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if they just purposely just just get these type of moderator, just try to ask you the hard-hitting questions, then they do it with an attitude. Like, I, I don't know. Like, this right here is crazy. Like, y'all tell me if I'm wrong or not, but I'm telling you, this woman reminds me of the same woman that just did the Andrew Tate interview, like, I think like a week ago. Like, she had a, a, a bad attitude. The way she asked us questions, like, when if Donald Trump say something, no, you're lying because of this. Like, it, it's crazy. I don't know where they get the moderators from. And this, wow. And they're living in hell right now. So wow. when it comes They're to living pardons. in hell. And they're policemen and they're firemen and they're soldiers and they're carpenters and electricians and they're great people. Many of them are just great people. Listen, can you say if you want... There you go. Everybody had a question about whether Trump was going to pardon the people in J86. He said he was. And then yeah. he said, not everybody, because some of them are nut jobs, which is clear. Ukraine or Russia to win this war? I want everybody to stop dying. They're dying. Russians and Ukrainians. I want them to stop dying. And I'll have that done. I'll have that done in 24 hours. I'll have it done. You need the power of the presidency to do it. But you but won't say that you want Ukraine to win. You, you know what I'll you were, say? I'll say this. Office. I want Europe to put up more money because they're in for 20 billion. We're in for 170. And they should an be. And they should the equalize. I've, this is why we voted for him the first time. Because the surface level of disingenuous media yep. is that who do you want to win? Well, that's irrelevant. How about we point out the fact that they aren't doing their fair share and and they should be contributing. We Mm -hmm. getting screwed. See, she worried about politics. Trump is worried about the people. Anyway.
They have plenty of money. She is. I told you every time he say something, she's going to rebut it with some BS. Like she, I don't know what it is like. It's like she was sunk there to to try to destroy this man. And I believe CNN, I believe they did this on purpose. That's why they sunk this woman. Out of all the people they could have sunk to interview Trump right here, they sunk her. And you can tell from the get-go, she got like this bad look on her face like she just don't like Donald Trump. And you can tell she didn't vote for him. Just by her attitude, so she obviously just don't like this man. So, I, and I guess that's the reason why when he say something, she try to she try to her best to, to try to debunk everything he say. So it, it's crazy. They should equalize. I got with NATO but I'm when I sat down. I got them right to put now, up Mr. hundreds President. of billions of dollars that they weren't paying under Obama and Bush. And all of these other presidents, that's why they're, they're able to help them fight the war because of the money I got. But, but I let's want talk Europe. About what's to, happening in Ukraine, excuse me. Mr. I President. want Europe to put up more money because they're laughing at us. They think we're a bunch of jerks. We're spending $170 billion for faraway land, and they're right next door to that land, and they're in for 20. I don't think so. When it comes to what's back to CNN's Republican presidential town hall with former President Trump, President Trump, you we have a lot more voters questions, I should note, in here in New Hampshire to get to. Mm -hmm. But I also want to talk about some of the other investigations that you're facing. We talked about others at the top, but one of those is the special counsel's investigation into classified documents that were found at Mar-a-Lago. Why did you take those documents with you when you left the White House? I had every right to under the Presidential Records Act. You have the Presidential Records Act. I was there and I took what I took and it gets declassified. Uh, Biden, on the other hand, he has 1,850 boxes. He had boxes sent to Chinatown, Chinatown, where they don't speak even English in that Chinatown we're talking about. But can I, I, I got to stop you right there. Because him, they talk about us. Why every time he start talking, like, it's like if she know he's speaking some facts, she try her best to cut him off all the time. And, and some of this stuff I feel like is personal. Like, why would you be asking this man, like, personal questions like this on TV? Like, I don't know, man. Like I said, I just feel like she was something to try to destroy this man. And obviously it didn't work because Donald Trump is standing his ground, and you can see. Uh, just so you understand, I had every right to do it. I didn't make a secret of it. You know, the boxes were stationed outside of the White House. People were taking pictures of the GSA of the various I people. i got to stop you right there, though, because moving. the Presidential Records Act, which is not well known to a lot of people, I read it. It, it does not say that you can take documents with you. It says actually that... They it are says the you, property it of the says you talk, you negotiate, you, you make a deal. It's not criminal, by the it way. Not, it's not, it's it the not Presidential Records Act is not criminal. That's why I love him. Now, we just put a couple clips together. Y'all go watch the whole thing. Of course, it was a, probably about an hour worth of stuff. But Wow. And make sure y'all uh, uh, go follow uh, the Officer Tatum. Like I said, this right here was on his channel. Right here, I had just wanted to see it. I couldn't really find the clips of like the video like the little clips but uh y'all was telling me that he had some of the clips on the channel so that's why i reacted to him reacting to it that way i can kind of get my thoughts on what i heard but obviously you can tell that woman was sent there to try to destroy this man she was asking him some some crazy questions even when he gave her an answer she would try to debunk it with something else oh we ain't, I ain't talking about that i'm talking about ukraine oh i ain't talking about that i'm like wow bro the oh man whoo I don't think we should ever trust CNN, bro. Like, they, they tried to get this, man. They literally tried to, but I feel like it backfired because Donald Trump was answering every question. It just, hey, when he was getting them answers, she was just trying to find a way to debunk it and try to run her own narrative through it and all that type of stuff, bro. So, like I said, y'all let me know what y'all thought about it down below in the comment section. But this was crazy. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to check this out. Like I said, I have not watched the whole full thing yet. Uh, Y'all were just telling me to check out this right here, but I definitely got to go back and watch the whole uh, full, full interview. That way I can kind of, you know, like get the feel of what all was asked and how he answered the question. So we will we'll do that. But like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.